Hello, friends of God all over the world. I'm Minister Coleman, and welcome back to Christian's Endeavor Ministry. Today, we're going to be debuting our upcoming International Sunday School lesson, Story Time, for the week of July the 7th, 2024. The topic of our lesson is Ceaseless Love. And we're taking our Bible passage from the book of Lamentations, the third chapter, the 16th through the 24th verse. Before we go into our Bible story time, don't forget to check out the description box for your worship with the word link. Now let's go in. He has made me chew on gravel. He has rolled me in the dust. Peace has been stripped away, and I have forgotten what prosperity is. I cry out, my splendor is gone. Everything I had hoped for from the Lord is lost. The thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet, I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Amen. Well, beloved, our Bible passage today focuses our attention on God's ceaseless love. The writer of Lamentations, whom theologians name as the major prophet Jeremiah himself, is both lamenting which is expressing grief and sorrow and reflecting upon the historic destruction and captivity of Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel, by the Babylonian army in 586 BC. Jeremiah penned his lament as he remembered the highly blessed days of Judah against their darkest, dismal, days of exile and destruction. Understanding that amid this contrast of days was God's repeated and gracious warnings of pending judgment if his people fail to repent and turn from their sinful ways. Today, we reflect upon the vivid poetical penmanship of Jeremiah and the traumatic sufferings he endured along with his fellow Israelites. In the midst of all the suffering and perceived silence from God that is expressed by Jeremiah, deep down in his soul existed a ray of hope that God's love for his people was yet alive. The word of God was true sure and indestructible as it was hidden and preserved in the bosom of Jeremiah to give both him and his people hope that better days were coming. Jeremiah echoes these words of hope in verses 21 through 24 and again they read yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Our takeaway for this lesson is, when your world is shattered, 
and you're down and in despair, remember and say to yourself that God's love and his faithfulness still abides. I will hope in the Lord. This is Minister Coleman. You have your marching orders. May God bless and keep you all.